we can be right 999 times, but that one time we're wrong, you know, a lot of people can die. The vast majority of Empire Shield uh, soldiers uh, either grew up in the city or right outside the city. So they have a vested interest. They're protecting their backyard, their families, their friends. We form up here at Fort Hamilton uh, early in the morning. All the uh, soldiers do their uh, PCIs, PCCs, draw their weapons, uh, do sensitive items check, accountability, and then uh, we all uh, convoy over in suburban to all our different mission sites in New York City. So that would include uh, the New Path World Trade Center, uh, where we uh, have our mission sites, Grand Central Station, uh, Penn Station, Port Authority Bus Terminal, JFK Airport, LaGuardia Airport, bridges and tunnels here in New York City. Hey, good morning. How you doing? You don't know what you don't prevent, but the fact that New York City hasn't had a major terrorist attack um, since 9-11, I think, is due to many reasons, but I think one of them is, is a strong uh, um, counterterrorism efforts, uh, unified effort with law enforcement, and I know we're a part of that. So uh, I think as long as um, everybody goes home safely and there's no uh, terrorist attack, I think that is a success. The future of the task force, you know, will really depend on, on the threat. And, you know, the world seems to be uh, more dangerous um, than, it, than it has been. It seems to be getting more dangerous every year. So I think as long as we can continue to add value and to uh, assist uh, our partner agencies in ter uh, detecting terrorism, I, I think the uh, future for the task force looks pretty bright. And I can uh, remember right after 9-11, there was a lot of talk, a lot of major corporations and banks, you know, thinking, gee, should we move out of New York City? It's such a big terrorist target, and commuters coming in felt, uh, you know, comfortable seeing National Guard soldiers, and they still continue to feel safe 